The car that we are going to drive to Carpinteria just arrived. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get it. I am so excited to show it to you guys. It's a Mazda. It looked beautiful online, so I can't wait to show you. There she is. So cute, little compact SUV. I'm gonna drive it around really quick because it's very tempting. Okay, I'm just driving super slowly around my apartment complex, but can you see in the window how fast I'm going? That is so cool. Such a random feature to have in a car, but it's really fun. I really love the display, like how this is up and it's just super sleek. All right, I'm just awkwardly loitering in this parking lot, but this is really nice. I just drove like not even a quarter of a mile, but it is a super smooth drive. I really love how sleek the leather is. I know it's a 2020. Um, it has like seat warmers and yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. It's really cute. I drive a Jeep, so I'm like used to being in a compact SUV situation, but I love, I don't know, I just, it feels really good. I like it, I'm a fan. I'm excited to drive this to Carpinteria on Monday. Nice little road trip. So yeah, that's it. Okay, it is Sunday and we go on our first trip tomorrow and it sounds so crazy to even say that because travel still isn't technically happening, but we are doing a little isolated staycation in Carpinteria in this cute little place. I can't wait to show you guys. I am about to pack for that right now. I wanted to take you through the process and just show you how I pack when I know I'm gonna be shooting outfits. I tend to overpack when I go on trips where I know I'm shooting because I wanna make sure that everything I'm bringing flows and is gonna look good in like my Instagram and I just try to make sure that it's all cohesive. So I tend to bring more than I really need, but don't we all? So I'm just going to start getting the outfits together. Over here are some things that I pulled out that I've had for a while that I wanted to shoot, but it just didn't happen for isolation reasons and weather reasons. So I am going to compile everything I have and see what is going on and go from there. <laughs> This helps me visualize everything I have in mind. Everything from this over, ideally I would love to shoot, doesn't all have to be on this trip, but it's really easy to see like how the colors will go and how, like the things that just kind of stand out more and will flow with my feed currently. So it's really helpful to set it all out and see like things that I need to post because they are either a collaboration or sponsored or gifted and things that I just wanna shoot for fun. So this is basically the framework that I do for every single trip I take and it really makes the process so much more effortless. COVID-19 picnic, social distancing, Edition. field trip, road trip. <laughs> it's like so amazing. That's real good. 
Brennan's least favorite thing in the whole world is when people eat in movies. And once you know that, you realize every single movie ever made has an eating scene. So it's really funny. Just listen to me chew for a little bit. <laughs> I'm making you live out your actual idea of health. Yeah, people talk all the time while they're eating dinner. Natural to film it. Okay. Rooftop wine night. And so I'm always working. Cool. Email, phone. You're such a businessman. You important. look like an agent or something. Important. Super Big. important. We are just enjoying the morning. It's like 10:30, and we went and got coffee this morning and shot a look. This look. My photographer over here. Business. Man of many, many businesses. Now we're just having some fruit on the patio. We're both doing some work and then just relax with our beachfront view. habit to instill but we got it. got it we're walking to a burger place called the spot that was highly recommended and it's just basically across the street from playa so we're gonna go get some lunch and then this guy's getting his golf on 
at this height difference. This is funny. <laughs> Is some quality roadside burgers. productive day ever. Brennan has been golfing since like 2.30 and I've been shooting with my tripod and handy Bluetooth remote and it is a game changer. I've literally shot so many things in the house. <laughs> because of that, I haven't been vlogging at all, but it's kind of boring anyway. But I thought it would be kind of entertaining. Although the wind did stop, it looks like, which is even better. I'm about to go on the roof and try and shoot something with my tripod. So I figured I would bring along the vlog camera and try to document the whole process. But it looks like the wind has died down, which has been a huge issue all day. So it might not be as bad, but we're gonna do it. We are on the roof and it's not that bad. It is windy still, but it's been so much worse all the time we've been here. So I am not really sure where I want to shoot yet, but the sun's coming this way, obviously. <laughs> so I'm gonna shoot this way. So I will just prop you up. All right, hopefully that stays. Brennan's finally home from golf, <laughs> and it's time to make dinner. So what do we got? For me? Yeah. We got cauliflower crust margarita pizza. Can we see it? <laughs> this is your cooking show. Ooh, your favorite vegetable. Pizza yep. is definitely my favorite vegetable. On that one, we're probably gonna do um, a little tomato, a little onion, Basil. Yum. Maybe a little olive. Maybe a little spicy. <laughs> on the side. And on this one, we're gonna do some mushrooms. We're gonna do some pepperonis. Yum. Maybe a little, uh, red hot and some chicken on top of it. <laughs> it was only three bucks. That's what happens when you shop at Smart and Final. You get chicken for three dollars. A little salad. Sweet kale chopped. A little appetizer of Doritos. Just some cheese from last night. Just super healthy. Keep going left. Over there, there's a couple bottles of vino. Ooh, gotta have those. You're so cute. We were giving up bread and cheese this week and we were doing really well, I would say. We were. It's our cheat day. This whole weekend basically is our cheat weekend. So it's back up Wednesday. Tomorrow. We'll be good. 
We'll be fine. We'll just work it off. Worth it. Vacation. No rules on vacation. No rules. Okay, time to cook. Pretty much perfected the cauliflower crust pre-made top your own pizza situation. Pretty good. What don't you say? So basically Brennan kind of figured out that we should cook the crusts before we add toppings. Took a little while to figure that out, but basically this is what it comes looking like, which is honestly really good and ready to eat. But we like to make it that much better by putting our favorite toppings just to make it a little bit more fun. So Brennan's prepping some pepperoni. We've got some onions, mushroom, tomatoes, and then some basil. We've also got chicken for this guy. Look how much taller you are. <laughs> good camera height. I should probably change the angle for you. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So you'll do that pizza? What are you doing? Pepperoni and chicken? Pepperoni, chicken, and mushrooms. Mm. Yeah, then I'll take onions. So we cook them for five minutes at 425, and then we're gonna cook for like what, another five minutes? Yeah, I would say five. This new oven, we don't know. Yeah, this is a very fancy oven here. It's like an air fryer oven. Yeah, it's crazy. It's super professional. It's the biggest air fryer I've ever seen. You're doing mushrooms? Oh, I'm doing basil. Top it off with a little mushroom. Yum. Usually we have a little shredded cheese to keep everything together. We did not get that. That was our part of not being overindulgent with the cheese. Cheese is our biggest downfall, I think. We love cheese. We love cheese. Here's my basil. Onion, tomato. Nice. Pepperoni, chicken, mushroom, buffalo sauce. Yum. All right, time to cook for how much longer? Uh, let's say five minutes. Five Monitor. Minutes. Monitor. Just missing one of those big hole handles. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to be spending our last night back by the fireplace. Absolutely. Hopefully not being beat again. Six and oh now. At Rumi Cube. Whoa! That was impressive. Pyro. <laughs> Pyro. That's for sure. Look at you. He even... Look at you. <laughs> made our salad fancier. Yeah, a little bit of nuts and jellies. <laughs> so innovative. Basically, we like to take really easy meals and make them fancy. It's because we're so fancy. We are fancy. All right, let's pull the pizzas out. Pull them out. You want to do the honors? They're looking crispy. You ready? I think so. What do you think? Ooh, definitely should not have put the basil on before. Oops. Look right there. Nice. Yeah, you're probably ready. Ooh, look at that pepperoni. That was so much easier than how I did it. Pizza Pro, coming through. Yum. Look at this setup. Blankets and all. Cozy. So cozy.
favorite coffee shop in the whole entire world is open yeah. for pickup. for ordering in and we got coffee so we can make it at home we're very happy oh my gosh huh. we've got a breakfast burrito some challah french toast and a yummy blueberry croissant mm, that's plain. I mean scone and two very happy individuals. Hungry. Hungry. That means stop filming me. It smells so yummy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, how is that? We're heading out, sadly. I have to go back to reality, but quick recap. 10 out of 10 would stay there every time we come up here. Place to stay in Carpinteria, can't beat it. Beach For right sure, there. yeah, the beach is literally- Park right there. Close, you can't get closer. Best burger spot right here. Yes, we went to the spot yesterday. Burgers, beach, park. I mean, it, it can't get better. Yeah, you have a view of the parks, so like if you come with kids, you can just watch them at the park while you have your happy hour on the roof. It's definitely an amazing place. Super close to Santa Barbara. You're like a 10 minute drive to downtown Santa Barbara. Oh, we didn't get wine. Oh, wine. Um, you can go to the Funk Zone, have yourself a great time, still be close. Carpinteria is cute because it's like a really small town. So it's like one street, one main street. And during non-quarantine, I'm sure it's really fun. It was still fun though. All in all, 10. 10 out of 10. For quarantine. For any time. Any time. But yeah, it's it's definitely a place you should bring multiple people because we had so much space. Even the one and two bedrooms downstairs that have so much space. It's a really great group situation. So yeah, highly recommend. We'll be back. We'll be back. We will be back. See you soon. Bye.